Biking is an example of an exercise using aerobic metabolism. The main substrate being used is fat through beta oxidation to create ATP. It uses mainly type 1 slow twitch muscle fibers due to their resistance against fatigue during exercise over extended periods of time. When someone is biking, their heart rate, stroke volume, body temperature, venous return, and rate of perspiration all increase. Due to heart rate and stroke volume increasing, cardiac output therefore increases as well. Increase in body temperature also influences the rate of perspiration to increase, therefore putting someone at risk of dehydration after an extended period of time performing aerobic exercise. Dehydration occurs due to the excessive output of plasma and sweat through the skin. For optimal performance during aerobic act activity, one would exercise at a percent of their VO2 max rather than their maximum VO2. The more a person trains at their VO2 max, the better their endurance performance will be. During sprinting, the metabolic pathway being used is anaerobic. During anaerobic exercises, carbohydrates are the substrates being used to produce ATP. Anaerobic exercises recruit type 2 fast twitch oxidative muscle fibers in order to produce quick explosive movements. When someone is sprinting, heart rate spikes increasing stroke volume, body temperature, venous return, and rate of perspiration therefore increasing cardiac output. The turning point in which the regularly circulating lactate in the blood increases greatly is named the lactate threshold. Lactate threshold is reached during maximal anaerobic exercise and is the point at which RER reaches 1. Whether or not a person reaches their VO2 max during an anaerobic exercise is dependent on the duration the exercise is performed. When a weightlifter hand cleans, the ATP PCR system is what supplies the body with energy in order to do so. ATP and phosphocreatine are readily available in the muscle cells when the body calls for very short and powerful movements performed for up to 10 seconds. There is no actual increase in heart rate, stroke volume, body temperature, venous return, or rate of perspiration due to such short duration of exercise. Systolic blood pressure may increase due to the individual holding their breath. This can therefore pose a risk of syncope, especially in people with hypertension.